Hi, I'm Melanie Nauta with BWI Companies and today I'm going to talk to you about beekeeping. The biggest misconception about beekeeping is that it's easy and that it's hard. Beekeeping in itself is easy. It just requires a lot of work. If you're thinking about getting into beekeeping, beekeeping actually takes gardening to the next level. It puts you more in touch with mother nature and paying attention to what's blooming and what's not and when the bees are going to take their next step. Queens would be ordered in the fall and they would arrive in early spring. Packaged bees would be ordered in January up through March. Types of bees that would do well in the southern region would be pole line bees, Italian bees, or Russian bees. There are four pests that affect bees. There's an exterior mite called Varroa. There's an anterior mite called tracheomites. There's a small hive beetle. And there's also a fungal gut pathogen called Nosema. If you're going to beekeep in your backyard, you need to check with your homeowners association to make sure that there's no rules against it. Also, you need to make sure that you have a reliable water source for your bees. A bird bath with some rocks in it is perfect. Be aware of what type of fencing you have around your yard. If you have a wooden fence, it will cause your bees to fly up and out. If you have a chain link fence, you shouldn't have any problems. They'll just run right through it. If you're looking for a specific type of honey or a specific flavor of honey, you would pull that honey right after that crop finished blooms. When it comes time to pull honey, you're going to pull your you're going to check your frames and when your frames are 3 quarters sealed and the majority of your box is 3 quarters sealed, that's when you can extract that super off of that colony. 